Hey there, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I guess it's Tuesday. Uh, we're we're back, and after after some 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 split feelings on <laughs> the, the new legendary banner, um, uh, we we have some news to cover. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. The uh, the the voting gauntlet, and then the 2.6 update. Uh, and first of all, I'm gonna make a special note. If you ever disagree with anyone in the comments, don't be a jerk about it. You're free to voice your opinion. But don't like call people names and stuff. That's not cool, guys. Really? Come on now. Um, anyway, just wanted to make a point to say that. Anyway, the voting gauntlet is coming soon. Uh, and if we throw up the schedule here, we can see it. Uh, it is the 1st through the 6th. So uh, this weekend, actually. Fun fact. Um, I for sure thought that we were getting a bridal voting gauntlet. We're not. But I guess that makes sense because there's a lot of other stuff focused around the bridal units. I guess after we had the, uh, the 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 spring voting gauntlet between last year's units and this year's units, I thought for sure that we were gonna have like the same thing happen with the bridal units, which is totally fine with me because I don't want to have to pick between Bride Cordelia and Groom Marth. So there. <laughs> um, but it is gonna be something kind of interesting. We're getting. Uh, a battle between the Order of Heroes and the Legendary Heroes. And I think it shows us who they are, yeah. So on the left bracket, we have Fjorm, Anna, uh, Sharina, probably the team that I'll be going with, and then Alphonse. And then on the right, we have our newest Legendary Hero, Ryoma, uh, Gunthra, Robin, and then Ike, or uh, uh, Radiant Ike. Whatever you, whatever you want to call it. The beefy version of Ike. Uh, so that could be pretty interesting, I guess. Um, and I, you know, we're, we're going to be getting stuff for it. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, you know, um, I don't know. I'm probably going team Sharina. That's probably where I'll land. I really like Sharina as a unit, um, or Ike. I can't really decide. Honestly, I really do like Ike too. Ike's a really solid unit. Anyway, either way, beyond all that. Um, we're not having a bridal voting gauntlet, so there, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I have, I'm, I've been made a fool. Um, but we do have some other stuff coming up in the update that is slated for early June. It said so. Probably that second week in June is when it will pop off. Uh, again, if we pop over to the schedule, um, we're gonna have special orb promos and stuff like that. Um, so I would guess since all of that stuff is starting on the 8th, I'm going to say that the new update drops on uh, either the 7th or the 8th, like, so that all of that stuff hits at the same time. I would almost promise you that it drops on the 8th, because there's a lot of stuff hitting on the 8th and then after. Um, there's a little bit of stuff that runs into that, but we already knew about that from, like, the data mining and stuff, so... I feel like that's I feel like that's already built into this version. Um, it's not like a major overhaul they're going to throw in. I think all this new stuff is going to be part of that big update. So I would guess that we're getting the update activated on the eighth or the seventh. That is my guess. Um, so what we have coming in two point six. It's not a huge update. Um, it's more it's more of what I would consider like an aesthetic update. Uh, and speaking of aesthetic. Uh, hero accessories are going to be a thing. So accessories for heroes, mini units have been added. So like the little, little, little chibi arts, if you will. Um, these accessories can be seen by other players in the arena, arena play. So you can customize the look of your heroes and show them off. Nice. Accessories are planned to be available through events, quests, and more. So they're little, more little fun things that you can pick up and earn. Um, I mean, that's not, it's again, it's, it's purely cosmetic, but whatever. Uh, accessories will not alter a hero's stats or skills. Noted. Um, this is the big one that I think most people are super excited about, including myself. Um, and I will I will dive deeper into that at the very end here. Um, but we're going to have heroes with new unit-specific weapon skills at 5-star. One of which being Tiki, which uh, includes young Tiki and adult Tiki, which is Breath of Fog. Uh, so that's pretty, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. And it can be upgraded in Weapon Refinery once you have it. So uh, my plus 10 five-star Tiki will very much appreciate this, probably. I don't really know what it does, but I'm excited for it. Uh, and I need more Divine Dew, because I don't have enough of that. So, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so to to learn weapon skills, tap skills, and then ally growth menu. Blah, blah, blah. We, we 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 know about that. Lynn is getting aura. Lind is getting aura, which I am very excited about. Uh, and I will talk more about that in just a hot minute. Excalibur, Merrick, Merrick's getting some love. Merrick is a very terrible unit, I think, and this might help him a little bit. Um, I was unfortunate enough to get like two five-star Merricks as pity breaks throughout the course of my playing this game. Man, I've never known what to do with him. But maybe this time we'll 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 give him an upgrade. I don't know. I have no strong feelings toward Merrick whatsoever. Uh, to to access the weapon refinery after clearing Book One, Chapter Thirteen in the main story, you must clear the secondary mission map, Ride of Blades. Yeah. So if you're new to the game and you haven't necessarily been playing for like a week, <laughs> this is something that you're gonna want to prioritize if any of those units you want to upgrade. Uh, but overall, it's a pretty easy thing to clear, and I'm sure that most of you guys watching this have done so already. Um, ally men allies menu adjustment and expansion. Sweet. Uh, so starting in version 2.6, each function in the allies menu has been separated into related categories. <gasps> Quality of life update. Uh, menu options like level up, learn skills, and other options related to strengthening heroes will be located in ally growth. Menu options related to changing skills, seals, and accessories will be located in change equipment. Nice. So I really like the I really like that they kind of like split this category up a little bit. It's 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 refreshing. Um, ally support and other options related to bonds with allies will be located in interact with allies. So they're kind of making it easier to uh, to kind of like maneuver around, and that's what it's going to look like. Um, so I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased, you know. Like uh, that's that's nice. That's nice. This is a little relabeling. Uh, that's good. Um, additionally, catalog of heroes and hero merit list which were previously under miscellaneous, of course, because where else would you put it, will now be located and interact with allies. Yes, thank you, thank you. I hate going to the miscellaneous menu, it's so dumb. Um, an auto-learn function has been added and is located in learn skills, which is also pretty cool. Which is also pretty cool, because before this you had to, you know, I'm sure you guys know, before this update is taking place, you're going to have to go in and like manually like select what you want to upgrade. This is kind of nice. It just kind of automatically bumps you up to the next thing, which is sweet. I like that. Uh, the auto learn function allows heroes to use their accumulated SP to automatically learn available skills. If the hero doesn't have enough SP to learn the skills available to them, skills uh, skills that fill empty slots will be learned first. So there you go. Um, if skill slot already has skill equipped, a new skill for that slot will not be learned or equipped through auto learn. To learn a new skill through auto learn, any skill in the target slot must be equipped in equipped skills. Uh, and now there are eight types of favorite marks to, <laughs> to use your heroes. Because why not? Uh, I don't really care about this so much. This doesn't really affect me all that much. Um, in the top, okay, so in the top left of, of menus where you select allies, if you tap the favorite mark, the heart icon. You can reorder your heroes based on the mark you choose. Sorting simply by favorite will no longer be possible. So that's unfortunate. Um, heroes can now be sorted by accessories. So while we're getting accessories, you can also sort them by accessories. Don't know. So that's kind of cool. Um, arena Assault scoring changes. Oh man. Arena Assault, what are they doing with that? The way scoring works in Arena Assault is changing, thank god. If legendary heroes are heroes with blessings that match the seasons are deploys, the score will increase by one for each hero. That's kind of cool. Um, because that, you know, that, you know, I don't know. That never really, it's an incentive, I guess. That's kind of nice. Uh, this change will take effect on 612 at 3 a.m. This change will not affect the strength of enemy units in the Arena Assault. Interesting. So maybe maybe the big update's gonna start on the twelfth. Maybe the big update's gonna start on the twelfth. That makes a lot more sense actually, because then you're not in the middle of like an arena season. Maybe that's when it's gonna happen. That makes a lot more sense. I changed my answer. It's not the eighth. It's the twelfth. That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, this change will not affect the strength of enemy units in arena assault, just like regular arena. 
Uh, if heroes are defeated during battle, the bonus from their blessing will still be counted. Nice. Uh, to coincide with this change, the season starting on 6-12-18 at 3 a.m. will offer slightly more hero feathers for rank rewards. Oh, I'm always down for feathers, man. That's awesome. I love me some feathers. I need more feathers in my life. Or just, you know, don't make it 20,000 feathers to go from a 4 to a 5 star. That's one thing that you could also do. I guess. But they won't. <laughs> uh, he's your shards and SP. I, I like this already. I need more SP in my life as well. Uh, to make strengthening your heroes easier, but not unlocking their potential easier, uh, <laughs> the following changes have been made. The amount of SP gained from leveling up has been increased. Nice. Uh, the amount of shards earned in the training tower has been increased. I don't even use training tower anymore, man. <laughs> I really don't. Um, unless there's like a side quest or something, I don't use them. I don't really use shards either, though, honestly. So, um, there's like monthly events and stuff like that that come around uh, every, every month. And that I earn shards and stuff through that. And I use those to get from like 0 to 20. Because who wants to grind that out? Am I right? No one. Literally nobody. Um, so, that's kind of cool. I mean, I probably won't use Draining Tower still since the special maps are way better at grinding but nice to know <laughs> nice to know that they're taking note that no one uses trainer tower um to make the function of each option clear labels have been added uh, this way the home screen will be easier to understand for new players oh that's nice they're trying to be understanding i mean to be fair those of us who have been playing like i've been playing since the beginning of the game and you know if, if you picked it up relatively within the last six months you're pretty you're probably pretty aware of what's going on they in the last couple months man they have thrown so much stuff together uh and everything is so condensed that i feel like starting like if i were a brand new player who hadn't really like seen much gameplay of this i would i might be a little overwhelmed to be honest so it's nice that uh that they're at least understanding of like newer players they're coming in and they're, they're kind of like, you know, making it easier to navigate, which I think was a big, a big thing that they did with, uh, with the menu update and stuff like that too. So that's really cool. I like that. Uh, other changes. Sweet. <laughs> when logging in, the speed at which the notifications are displayed has been increased. Nice. Uh, if there was, <laughs> cause we all just, we all tap straight through those anyway. <laughs> no, no one, I never read them. Uh, if the result of an event have not been viewed, there will be a an exclamation point icon displayed on the corresponding event. Cool. Um, future Grand Conquest will indicate the points earned for an area after battle. Okay. Grand Conquest is definitely something that people care about, probably. Um, I do it for the rewards. It's nice for the rewards. It's good to know what I'm going to be earning, because <laughs> that's all I care about. Uh, the weapon type icon will be displayed for bonus allies in the Arena and Tempest Trials. Cool. Uh, for summoning events that begin after the update, the colors of, of the featured heroes summoning stones will be displayed. Okay. I mean, it's not really too difficult to remember, but, you know, it, it's, it's a quality of life update. You know, it's an aesthetic thing. Uh, that's it for the upcoming update. Okay, great. So we've gone through all of that. Let me tell you why I'm super excited about this. I didn't want to lose my train of thought. Let me tell you why I'm excited about this now, right? Okay. So last time, last time, when we had a weapon upgrade uh, thing, we had Corin and uh, 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 Camilla and somebody else. Corin, Camilla, and someone else's name who started with a C, and I can't remember who that is off the top of my head. I want to say Cordelia, but I don't know that it's Cordelia. And I feel bad that I don't remember the last one. But anyway, the three C's, those guys, they had their own banner uh, for new new powers. What do you see down there running from the 6th or the, the 10th to the 22nd of June? Anyone? Anyone? That's summoning focus new power. <gasps> what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what that means. More than likely, we're going to have a summon banner on these four units. Young and Adult Tiki, Merrick, and Lind, which means Lind is finally going to be in the banner again. Oh my god, I'm so excited, because I don't have Lind, and I'd really like to have Lind, because I like Lind, and I don't have Lind, and so I want 
to rectify this badly. <laughs> so I think, I think more than likely we're going to have Lind in a banner and I am super excited about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if nothing else comes from the 2.6 update, all I care about is that we have the potential to get a, a, a banner with Lind as a focus unit in it. So, um, I'm pretty hyped about that. So I will be saving ours for sure. Um, I'm probably going to pull on the legendary banner a little bit. Uh, I, I think Ray I think Realm is cool. I do. I don't think the legendary unit all is like anything all that spectacular. I think it's cool that he's a flying unit. But it's voiced by Matt Mercer. And I think at the end of the day, we all need a little more of Matt Mercer's voice in our lives. And so that's why I'm going to try and get him. Um, but ultimately, I am straight up gunning for Lind at this point. Because that is a unit who has not been featured in the banner in a very, very, very long time. I'm talking probably like a year it's been since Lind has been in a featured banner. So, I'm very excited about that. Uh, again, I don't know if that's actually what's going to happen. But there's a very strong indication that that's what we're going to get. Um, even though I thought for sure we'd have a Brinal Voting Gauntlet. That's not what's going to happen either. So, I don't know. Maybe it's all for naught. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, this is the part where I ask you guys what you think in the comments. Let me know. And uh, what are you excited about? Are you hyped for uh, for the 2.6 update? Do you think <laughs> do you think the voting gauntlet's going to be like a hot, hot, uh, hot, hot mess? Just a tire fire and waiting. <laughs> what do you what do you think is going to come of that? Um, and just general thoughts on everything uh, so far. And a legendary band launches, I think, tomorrow, I want to say. So that's probably pretty exciting. But I don't know. I mean, beyond that, let me let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to help us get the YouTube partnership, that would be pretty dope. And I would love you forever. But if not, that's cool, too. Uh, we're super close, by the way. You guys are amazing. Um... But yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.